Okay, um, we've been looking at applying the UDU substitution to solve various types of integral problems, and the ones that we've encountered so far, the integrals have been pretty straightforward. Here we want to try to apply to this problem. We have the integral of r cubed divided by the square root of a squared minus r squared, and r goes from 0 to a. And if it's going to work out for us clearly, we have to call this part u. And the reason for that is, if we did say call, if this was u, and when we took the u, even if by some chance we did get this expression, look what that would leave us with. Then we would have the integral of u times the square root of du. So obviously that would never work out. So if the u du substitution is going to apply to this integral, we have no choice. We have to call this u. So let's see what happens. We say let u be equal to a squared minus r squared. So du will equal minus 2 times r to the first power, or that's just r dr. We'd like to multiply both sides by minus 2 if we want to. And I have minus 1 half du equals r just to the first power dr. But that's not what's inside the integral sign. We have r cubed dr not just r dr. With the other, um, in the previous videos, once we took our du expression, the other terms that were in the integral were incorporated into that du expression. This time we're not so lucky. So does that mean that maybe it won't work? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, we can go back to here if this was multiplied by, on this side of the equation, by r squared, then that would indeed give us r cubed here. But we had to multiply this side by r squared. But, well, let's just do that. We could say minus one half r squared du. That would equal r cubed dr. But when we're doing our substitution, this side here has to be expressed in terms of u, not in terms of r. So if we go back and look at the way we set this up, and we say that, well, r squared, that would equal a squared minus u. So now we can go back to here and say, uh-huh, well this would then be minus one half times r squared. That's a squared minus u du and that would equal r cubed dr. And that would work out okay for us. So, let's see what kind of an integral we're left with here. Um, we have, now we have limits on this one. We'll do with that in a second. And we have r cubed dr. That's this. Take the minus one half to the outside. And we have a squared minus u du and then this 
we call that u. So this would be divided by u to the one half. And let's see, if we want, we can take this upstairs. And we would have minus one half. Now, here R went from zero to A, and we've got different we have a different variable on here. But what we're gonna do is see if we can solve this, then go back and substitute for R. Then when we do that final substitution, we'll have to remember to apply our R limits. Okay, this would be one minus one half times in this upstairs here u to the minus one half times a squared minus u du so we're going to get two integrals out of this we'll have minus one half take the a squared out to the outside and we have the integral of u to the minus one half du, and then multiplying the cross, we'll have plus one half the integral u to the minus one half times u, that should be u plus one half du. So it looks like we're all set to go here. Um, this integral here, minus one half a squared u to the minus whoops let's get this into view here minus one half a squared u to the minus one half plus one that's u to the plus one half and don't forget to divide it by that exponent so that's times two and here we have plus one half that would be u to the three halves divided by three halves. So let's see what we have here. This is just minus a squared times u to the one half. u is this. So we're going to have square root a squared minus r squared. u is a squared minus r squared, that was our original substitution, plus, it looks like, one third, a squared minus r squared, and the whole thing is raised to the three halves power. So this is our solution. We had to remember, r has limits. This one 0 to A. In our original problem, when we made our substitution here and got this integral with this substitution and some algebraic manipulations, turn into this integral, we said, okay, this is now expressed in terms of U. There's going to be limits on it. We said that's going to go from r equals 0 to r equals a. So we solved this. We got this. Remembered our substitution. Got it expressed in terms of r. Now we had to know to apply our limits. So what do we have here? This will be equal to minus a squared times if r equals a, I'm going to have a squared minus a squared, so that would be 0. And if r is 0, that's the square root of a squared, so that's just minus a. And then from here we'll have plus one third times. And let's see here. Um, if r equals a, I got a squared minus a squared, that's 0, minus if r is 0, that's a squared to the 3 halves power, 
that would be a cube a squared raised to the three halves power that's a cube okay so here we have plus a cube and looks like here we have minus one third a cubed equals two thirds a cubed. So we were able to prevail here after all. The trick was when we we had this, we knew right away this is going to have to be u. And we took du, instead of having r cubed dr, we had r dr. And then we had to remember, though, from our substitution, we could get an expression for r squared, so that, in fact, we could find u du substitutions for all parts of the integral, so that this integral here became this one here, and that we could ha uh, integrate quite readily. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing, but we did want to try to choose some more complicated examples to uh, illustrate this technique. And uh, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can work some more problems.